Okay, so you've got two questions and those are, how do you shorten a prompt? And also, how do you know what parts of the prompt mid journey is actually taken into account and what parts of the prompt mid journey is basically ignoring and therefore having those elements within your prompts are making it redundant? Well, it comes down to knowing shorten. How you use it is you simply type in forward slash shorten. You copy the prompts here, you paste it in and you press enter. After you've done that, mid journey will come back with five different variations as well as highlight the words that are accounted for in bold for you to easily understand what mid journey is actually taken into account. The words that it's not taken into account, those are just striked out. It can't take them into account. It's too much for it to comprehend. Now you look at these five prompts and you examine your main prompt and you see which parts of the prompt are absolutely essential to be included within. Now, by the way, how you create a prompt in such detail like that is for an acronym I've coined called frame. So I'll leave a link to that video down below of how you can construct very very detailed prompts. So I'm seeing here like a medium shot, that's definitely important. Lone hooded figure stood, that's about the subject. So we want that center of an ancient misty forest. Yeah, that's the main background or the main scene setting that they're in. Then of course, we definitely want details around the camera that's being used as well as the lens type, the f-stop, etc., and intricate figure. So those bold words are the ones that are being more heavily weighted normally, okay? And this is without us, by the way, using any weighting, which I'll get to in another future video. So stay tuned for that. So out of all of these particular prompts, of course, when you go to the fifth one, it's the least detail. So I think a good balance would be either the first prompt or the second prompt. So I've gone with the first one, rewritten it, and it came up with these four different variations here. Okay, so that's an example there. And now we get onto another example. So another example prompt is this one. And this is a very, very long, of course, a lot to this prompt. So let's shorten it. So forward slash shorten. Now it's crossed out a lot of these words. And the reason being is because mid journey only takes into account really the first half to first third of your prompt. The last third or last half of your prompt, it doesn't really take into account. And you get around this with waiting, but like I said, I'll get to that in a future video. But just understand that for at least shorten, like I explained before, you get these five different types of variations. And then if you want that visualized in terms of the words that are highlighted in bold, which one of those gets prioritization, you simply click show details. So we can see cars, aerial, retro, cityscape, futuristic, skyscapers, neon holographic. Those are the main words that mid journey is taken into account. So now we can see a prompt that's short that includes all of those key words in it. And I can see something like the third one would make a lot of sense, but I don't like compromising on too much detail. So instead, let's go with the ba, 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 the first one again, and just leave it as is this time. So this is going to be like a split test, if you will, between rewriting the prompt after copy and pasting it and just using the first prompt as is. So let's see what happens. By the way, if you have been using Shorten in your projects, creative projects, has it helped you? I know for sure it has for me, but I usually find that, you know, when I write detailed prompts and I put waiting in those prompts that I get much more accurate results of what I'd be looking for. So yeah, do let me know. I'd be quite curious to find out. But here's what it's come back with. And yeah, it's done. It's done a good job. I didn't, of course, specify the aspect ratio of 16 by 9, but I think regardless of me not doing that, I think it did a really good job. Okay, so that in a nutshell, guys, is how you use Shorten. I've been Vay, you've been watching AI Evolved, and until next time, peace.